Hi, my name is Matt Hinkle with Boxwarm Training, and in this video, we're going to go over how do you fly drones using Part 107. This video is just going to be getting you ready uh, with Part 107, the process to fly your drone for your fire department, law enforcement, or public safety agency. So the first thing is there's no required course that you have to take to get the Part 107 certification. Uh, it's just a test. However, it is highly recommended that you take a course to prepare you for Part 107. Uh, if not, you really have to study hard on your own and find a lot of resources to prepare yourself to pass this test. Uh, I highly recommend Remote Pilot 101, remotepilot101.com. It's a certified flight instructor named Jason Shepard, and he put together a course uh, broken down into modules with a lot of good uh, training resources in there, uh, videos. It's all video. I think it's like 56 different videos right now. Uh, of him teaching each component and then you have sample tests to prepare you for the exam. It's really good. I also recommend the Facebook group Part 107 Study Group. It's a really good group where basically students uh, bounce information back and forth to each other, ask sample questions, and there's some really good uh, remote pilots on there that understand the rules and regulations really well to help you uh, prepare for the test. The last thing is an app. It's called Remote Pilot FAA Test Prep US UAS Rating. Uh, and it's just an app that prepares you, uh, giving you sample questions, kind of helps you get an idea of how the questions are going to be asked and what they look like. The registration process for commercial operations uh, is exactly like the public, but you you got to make sure that you register commercially. Anything between 0.55 and 55 pounds, uh, make sure you go to registermyuas.faa.gov. Don't go to the other websites. They're not accurate. Go to this website. It should cost you $5. Uh, and you have to register commercially. If you do not register commercially, you cannot operate commercially. So once you've studied and prepared yourself for the Part 107 exam, you got to find a place to take the test. Uh, and the, really the two places to go to are either catstest.com or lasergrade.com. Those are both authorized FAA testing centers. You can look up those on, online, search for a testing center near you, and you can book an appointment to take the exam. It costs $150 to take the test. And if you fail that test, it costs you another $150 to, to retake it. You also have to renew that every two years. So that's why the course like Remote Pilot 101 is good because you have it for life. So when you have to renew it, renew your exam, you can go back and refresh before you have to take that renewal certification. You are only allowed to bring a basic calculator into the exam. You really can't take anything with you. Uh, you don't use the calculator very much, or at least in my exam I didn't, um, but you really can't bring anything. They're going to give you everything you need to take the test. You also use a supplement that's given to you. So they're going to give you a book that basically has a bunch of figures in it, like maps, um, because you're, you may see test questions that say reference the, the supplement, the book, uh, figure 28 to answer this question. So that's where that comes from. Remember, this is an aviation general knowledge test. It is not an easy test. It's not something you could just walk in and pass. You really do have to prepare and study pretty hard for this test to be able to pass it. So once you've passed the test, you're not finished just yet. You've got to create an account with iacra.faa.gov. Basically, that's creating an account for you to get your certification. Once you create the account, then you've got to create an application within that account. So you submit an application and it links your test with your account. So basically it says, here's my passing grade. Here's the account that I'm in. It links those two things together and says, okay, you are who you are. And now we will award you a temporary certificate. During that process, they do a TSA approval. It's like a background check to make sure you should be able to have a drone and be able to fly in national airspace. Um, when they send you the temporary certificate, it should be within a couple of weeks then you can immediately fly. Once you have that temporary number, you are good to go and you can start flying the aircraft commercially. Uh, you will get a hard copy certificate in about two months, roughly. And that varies a lot right now, depending on how many people are going through this process at the moment. Um, but you're going to get a hard copy within a couple of months uh, that is your actual, looks like a driver's license for your Part 107 certificate. Those are really just the steps to get you started in Part 107, and that is one way that you can fly um, for a fire department, law enforcement agency, public safety, stuff like that. So it's really just to prepare you for, we've got to prepare to take the exam, take the exam, and then uh, submit our application to receive our certificate. That's really the process that you use to get a Part 107 certificate. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, subscribe to our YouTube channel to see the upcoming videos. You can also find us on Facebook at Box Alarm Training. And probably our best resource location is our website, which is www.boxalarmtraining.com. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.